Okay, so I don't think I have to explain to anyone that one of the biggest news stories out there right now is that the Colorado State Supreme Court has decided that Donald Trump is not going to be on the presidential ballot in 2024. You know, this was brought up. Some of the people were saying, hey, uh, Donald Trump, he tried to, you know, lead an insurrection against the United States, and that's a disqualifier according to the Constitution. And the uh, Colorado State Supreme Court, you know, went with them on this. Uh, but as, <laughs> as exciting as it is thinking that Donald Trump won't be on the ballot next year, it still has to go to the Supreme Court. And there, I'm just not that enthusiastic about his chances. Uh, look, look at who's deciding this. Uh, Clarence Thomas, Justice Thompson, or Thomas, who uh, wife just might have uh, played a part in said insurrection. So, don't see getting his vote on that. Uh, you got the three that Trump appointed, Gorsuch, Kavanaugh, and Comey Barrett. I think they'll side with him. And that leaves Alito. Well, he's a right-wing fanatic, so he'll be going with them. And... Uh, I say, well, we got the three that were appointed by Democrats. I assume that they'll keep them off the ballot, but I don't know what those those gals. You know, it's Sotomayor, Kagan, and uh, Brown, Jackson, and you know they're not super liberal justices. They're moderate liberalish judges, so they they might go with the group, uh, the group. Because, you know, Donald Trump, he didn't have a trial or some nonsense. You know, because I think there might be people pressuring to keep Trump on the ballot so they could push the fear monitoring. But we'll, we'll just say that they'll vote against, against him. And then maybe, just maybe, Chief Justice John Roberts, who, out of the conservatives, I think he has the most self-respect. And we'd be like, no, he, he tried, Trump tried to lead an insurrection. It's against the Constitution. He doesn't get on the ballot. But once again, I think the excuse for anyone who would be voting against Trump on this is going to be, well, he didn't have a trial. So it's not like he was convicted of the insurrection. He's still just accused of it. Which, if that's the case, I blame, <laughs> I blame Biden and I blame Garland for this nonsense because again it's like this should have been taken care of first year of the Biden administration as soon as he got his you know Attorney General Merrick Garland they, they should have been on top of it I mean but they didn't I don't know whose fault that is I don't know if it's because of uh, Merrick Garland is a pussy or Joe Biden is a moron or it's a combination of the two but it's like are you fucking shitting me like, you're going to tell me that I have to vote for Joe Biden again because Joe Biden didn't do, do his job and Donald Trump is still on the ballot? Yeah, but that might not be the case. There's just that sliver of hope. So, eh. Heard, just occurred to me as, as I was editing this that Ramaswamy, you know, one of Trump's competitors, said that if Trump isn't on the ballot, he won't be on the ballot. He's going to say, take me off out in solidarity. I'm thinking, <laughs> yes, two birds, one stone, if that's, you know, the case. But, <sighs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs>